His name is again Israel. So, is right here? Yes, and uh, and Bill and uh, and uh, other friends uh, who have joined us. I uh, don't want to take much time, but I just want to uh, highlight that uh, uh, our Jewish tradition is very ancient, and uh, the the story goes that 2,200 years back uh, there was a shipwreck off the coast of Mumbai, and there were seven couples uh, who uh, who found refuge uh, in the in I don't know what it was called at that time, but on the shores of present-day Mumbai. And they set up the Jewish uh, Bene Israel community. And it has been an uninterrupted community. It has grown in numbers. And uh, now because of the uh, state of Israel coming into being, we are seeing a depletion of our community size because many people are choosing to uh, migrate to, to Israel. Uh, but what is interesting is that uh, when they go to Israel or when they come here, uh, they maintain the Indian tradition. And I think that is very, very important. And uh, uh, we, unfortunately, uh, Rabbi Daniels is not able to join us. He has been uh, leading uh, the Hanukkah celebrations in the consulate for many years. He's not well. But uh, he is the rabbi in the church, uh, in, the, in the synagogue at uh, uh, Rabbi uh, Daniels is the uh, rabbi at the synagogue in Rego Park in, in, in the Queens. And he has been uh, preserving the Indian traditions of uh, of Hanukkah and, and, and the Jewish uh, tradition. So I am very delighted that we are able to participate. So that's the history. And oh, Israel is it? Israel has come up in front. And, uh, uh, but even in the modern times, in contemporary times, although uh, we delayed uh, in recognizing or uh, in having diplomatic relations with Israel, I think we have more than made up for the last time. And today, the India Israel relationship is one of the most robust relationships that uh, we have. Uh, two years back we celebrated the silver jubilee of our relations with Israel with many celebrations including here in the consulate and this trilateral relationship which has developed uh, between India or amongst India, Israel and the United States is something very very noteworthy and here in the US we try to bring together very as many aspects of this relationship and one of which is celebration of Hanukkah today. With these words, I once again uh, welcome all of you and I just want to convey that it's an honor and a privilege to have all of you here today uh, celebrating Hanukkah uh, with us today. We have tried to uh, uh, have kosher wine as well as uh, kosher Indian vegetarian food. So after the Hanukkah celebration is over, please join us for dinner uh, with uh, some Indian uh, food. With these words, I hand over back to uh, Rabbi David Levy. Thank you very much. Jai And we have a great number of speakers, so I've been asked to remind everybody to stay within about three minutes, uh, so that Did we... Did I stick to my time? So, pardon? All the um, friends and enemies of Israel, Israel is here to stay. I want to start with our host and, um, and his better half, uh, Thurman who's a PhD in, in, on Mexican studies. So it's an amazing situation that Indian diplomacy has branched out in ways even to better spouses and better half. So <laughs> um, you add a layer, you add a layer of understanding and nuance that is very helpful in, in a multilateral world. Sandeep Chandrarupti has done things in New York which everybody thought everything's been done already. And yet he has hit new milestones and created new milestones, one of which is today. Because this is, I, this is the first time that Chairman Elliot Engel is, is gracing the Indian consulate's Hanukkah party. Well. So let me talk a moment about our chief guest, Elliot Engel. The world is in a lot of chaos, and the lights of Hanukkah, like the lights of Diwali, are very necessary. Elliot Engel is a man that is of the Jewish faith, but anyone that has a heart that beats, anyone that has a heart that hurts, anyone that has a heart that loves, has some Jewishness in them. Because 
if you don't have the Jewishness in you, you really can't live. Um, the one thing that the Jewish faith has taught everyone is how life is precious. Life is precious. And if life isn't there, there's nothing else that matters. So the Jewish people have given a social conscience to the world. And if, and if you're not Jewish, it's an even bigger gift, because that which you take for granted, if you're Jewish, is not for granted when you're not. The relationship between India and, and, and Israel and the Jewish people is phenomenal in that the oldest synagogue in the world is in India. So it is not, a, it's not an accident that Israel and India are friends forever. Before the countries found sovereignty in today's analog world, or digital world, they have been friends forever. Abe Sofer used to be an Indian Jew who came here was a, a, a federal judge in the Southern District of New York and went on to become general counsel to the State Department. So the Indian Jewry even has affected the United States. Elliot Engel is one of New York's best he has literally made the world understand that he is a counterweight and the counterbalance to Secretary Mike Pompeo, which he is. And he represents the moral compass of the United States as being intact and robust. <laughs> that he is family to us is not why I said all those things wonderful things because he's earned it, he's a man of principle, and I want to tell you everything else that follows. If you have Elliot Engel on your side, you're blessed. And if you don't have Elliot Engel on your side, <laughs> go back and revisit what you're doing and change it because you want Elliot Engel on your side. So apropos of that, Mr. Chairman, I spoke to the bilateral ambassador of India earlier today, who has been promoted to foreign secretary of India. And we talked about you, and that you were the chief guest tonight, and he, wants to, he sent you his best wishes. And we, did, and we figured that we should do some kind of an event with you, with all the uh, members of the Foreign Affairs Committee before he goes back to India, including Jay Paul, uh, so that the matters, no feather should be ruffled, because the United States, Israel, and India define the 21st century. Absolutely. Happy morning. <laughs> it is my... Ravi beat me to uh, all of the lavish praise uh, I sought to bestow upon uh, our host. I don't mean the Consul General, I mean Dr. Chakraborty, the Madam Ambassador. But, uh, Consul General, thank you for your leadership and for the importance you place upon the friendship and the critical alliance between these three great uh, democracies. And to uh, the Congressman for the incredible work you're doing on behalf of all of us in Washington, to the distinguished guests and to our dear friends at the AJC, it is such a privilege to be here today celebrating Hanukkah again. Uh, this is a, every Hanukkah is special. This is a particularly special Hanukkah for those of us across the river in Jersey City, my hometown, and in New Jersey, um, because uh, it's on the heels of a tragic uh, terror attack that we suffered, um, anti-Semitic in nature, just a couple of weeks ago. Um, but before I talk about that, the joke that never gets old, what does Israel, India, and the United States have in common, aside from uh, pluralism, and religious and ethnic tolerance and democracy, we all have our scriptures from the British, and that's what we <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, On the heels of a dark couple of weeks across the river and in the New York City metropolitan area, as we unite and continue to fight anti-Semitism, we celebrate religious freedom for all people. And as we celebrate the light of Torah, we celebrate that good will always triumph over evil, and that light will always conquer darkness. Now, <clears throat> it's interesting to me as we celebrate the Indo-Israeli 
uh, friendship and the friendship between our diaspora, the Indian American diaspora, and uh, the Jewish community, that these concepts of Hanukkah echo those of Diwali. Asitama Sadgamaya, Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya, Mrityurma Amritam Gamaya, which mean, uh, means in Sanskrit, lead us from falsehood to truth, from darkness to light, from death to immortality. Now, the, the blessing, Sheyasa Nisim Lamotenu, Bayamim Hahem Bismat Hazem, right? We're praising Hashem for doing miracles for our ancestors as we celebrate light conquering darkness and praising God for the miracles of back then, just as God continues to perform these miracles today, no matter what your faith. That's particularly, I think, it rings true because I was paying a shiver call to the uh, uh, Moishi Ferenz's home, the widower of Mindy Ferenz, one of the victims of the Jersey City um, shooting, 32 or 33 years young. And as, uh, uh, as we were leaving the Ferenz home, um, a row, we stepped aside in the hallway, and a row of children started to come up the stairs and come into uh, the living room. And then, just as I was about to go into the hallway and be on my way, more kids came in. And then I looked down the stairs, and a dozen more. A couple dozen, maybe a, little, maybe a few more kids. And the principal came up to me and introduced himself and said some nice words. He said, who are these kids? Where are you coming from? And all of these children were on the second floor of the yeshiva, next door to the kosher deli and the, super, and, the, and the grocery store where the shooting occurred. And just across the street at Sacred Heart School, when I was passing by, I saw the bullet holes in the window and in the exterior concrete wall. And while it won't bring back Detective Seals or Mindy or Moshe or uh, Douglas Miguel, Rodriguez who worked in the store. We have to consider how much deadlier these attacks were planned to be when you consider the firepower and the bio bomb that was located in the U-Horn. And, and so when you think about that, the miracles were all these children, all of the others whose lives were saved on that horrific, tragic day. Um, and I think that that is a cause to celebrate light conquering darkness. Um, this Hanukkah, we keep in mind those we lost and uh, that we have to continue to fight anti-Semitism uh, on a regular basis. So I'll conclude um, that on, uh, on the note that I'm so proud we're celebrating here at the Indian Consulate on the sovereign land of the country of my birth because as Robbie pointed out, the, the Jews of India comprise the oldest, oldest Jewish civilization outside of the state of Israel, dating back to the destruction of the Second Temple. And for nearly three millennia, Jews have lived in India with religious and political freedom. So Hanukkah is that shining example of what Judaism means in our times and throughout history, religious freedom and justice. So we celebrate the immutable holiness of Torah and Talmud. I thank all of you for being here celebrating the beautiful friendship between these three democracies and remembering the Kahanan, the priests, true heroes of Hanukkah, who weren't warriors, they just had to do what they had to do. And uh, let us continue to build on the foundations and strong underpinnings of that relationship. Congressman and Bobby and uh, my friends are often here for Diwali, and it is very, very special to be here for Hanukkah. Um, I want to say that uh, this past summer, because of the good offices of the Consul General, because my husband forgot to get his visa and his permit passport had expired, um, the Indian Consul General was very helpful in getting him straightened out so we could go to a wedding in India. And of course, it was right near Cochin. And we spent a great deal of time in the temple. And we spent a whole two days in Cochin going through the history. Uh, the wedding was nearby in Kerala, and we spent the entire week and a half in Kerala. Um, I think 
we absorbed as much as we could in that short period about the amazing relationship between the Jewish community and the Indian community. And I want to thank the Consul General because if it wasn't for him, we never would have made it. Um, but to be here today, um, I also want to thank, I know AJC New York and New Jersey work closely with them. It's an organization that, in my opinion, is doing as much, if not more, than so many other organizations because they're working to, with the schools in New York to try to combat anti-Semitism. They have programs that are constant, that are sustainable, and that are um, year-long, and that are never go away. These young people need to have constant attention on these issues. You cannot do a one-shot deal in terms of anti-Semitism. And I want to thank AJC because we work constantly with them, and we see the difference as a result of their work. So I want to say uh, to everyone, the, the group you have assembled here today is the kind of uh, personage and support that we all need in order to make all of our societies better. And certainly to be here today celebrating Hanukkah here at the Indian uh, Council General is very, very special because everybody here is committed to the same goals. So I just want to say happy Hanukkah, but more importantly, thank you for all the work. We have so much work to do, but doing it with you and with these two societies couldn't be better. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, I want to, uh, first of all, I should, I want to thank uh, Professor Sunday for, for actually inviting me, uh, us, uh, the Israeli Council of the to join you uh, this evening uh, um, to, to attend and to participate in this uh, kind of lighting, uh, um, event, which is a tradition in Judaism. It's very, tradition is very important. And I want to thank you again for, uh, for actually for the invitation as well as to, uh, to all of our friends here, uh, Congressman uh, uh, Angle as well, uh, and uh, Board President Burr. Uh, we, this is, uh, Hanukkah is, is a very special uh, holiday uh, in which we basically celebrate a miracle. A miracle of, uh, of uh, basically a little amount of oil that, uh, that was uh, sufficient enough to lie for, for eight days. Now people today compare it to, uh, I think I'm sure that, you, that you've seen it, uh, compare it to 10% in your iPhone battery uh, that lasts for eight full days. Uh, it is a miracle. Uh, but it is also a, a holiday celebrating uh, um, uh, resiliency. And, uh, and um, it's not only a miracle. It's not only a miracle, it's a matter of, of our people standing up, fighting for its rights, its religious rights, um, and especially fighting for, for its own survival, especially during days of, of darkness, um, in days in which uh, Jews were attacked because they were Jews, because of their belief, because of the way they practiced their, uh, their religion. Um, and as uh, today, as Jewish communities around the world are being um, attacked or facing a uh, growing uh, threat of anti-Semitism, sometimes actual physical attacks against them, also here in New York, but of course in, in New Jersey, New Jersey City, uh, we, um, such a gathering like we have today is very important because we have leaders of diverse communities in the, in the city of New York and of course the, uh, the state of New York and New Jersey uh, sitting together, united, uh, speaking up and, uh, and, uh, and uh, standing up against, uh, against anti-Semitism, against hatred, expressing solidarity with, uh, with communities are under attack, um, standing together in solidarity uh, calling for tolerance, calling for uh, 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 a, a shared and a, a joint effort to fight hatred uh, and darkness. Um, the friendship, uh, it's also an opportunity to celebrate uh, the friendship between, first of all, between our consulates, the, the Consulate of Israel and the Consulate of India, uh, that we cannot uh, we should not elaborate about the extent of our relationship, and, and we appreciate it uh, very much. But also, uh, but also, when we, we we should talk about the friendship between our countries. Uh, only today we had an exchange of uh, 
Twitter diplomacy between the Prime Minister Modi congratulating Prime Minister Netanyahu in Hebrew and Prime Minister Netanyahu <laughs> replying. I had to try to, to push the, uh, the button of uh, translate in order to understand uh, what my Prime Minister said on Twitter. But this is only an expression of the great relationship and the friendship that we have we have uh, between our capitals, between our countries, and, uh, and uh, also between our consulates. And we're standing together uh, in a much broader uh, forum in which we have uh, also the Indian American community joining us, as well as the Jewish community here in the United States, here in New York. Um, and, uh, and we are celebrating our, our friendship. I want to make only one shout out to, uh, uh, I don't know if you know, but the, the Consulate of Israel here in, in New York, we, uh, we, had, we imported a colleague, a diplomat from our embassy in, uh, in New Delhi, Adva Vilchinsky, our Consul for, Consul for Public Diplomacy. Uh, if you know, if you, if you have any questions about, about India, or especially the Israeli-Indian relations, of course, you can uh, you reach out to, uh, to Adva. Uh, she is very popular in India. I know, I know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, unbelievably. Still. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, still. Uh, but, uh, but also a great, uh, a great friend and uh, another uh, colleague to work together to strengthen our friendship. Uh, we, um, so I think that today our basic message is that uh, may we uh, continue to overcome, uh, to overcome darkness, hatred, and racism as well as anti-Semitism, together as leaders of diverse communities here in New York City. And I thank you again for the invitation and for the, for the great opportunity to, to meet all of you today. Thank you. Thank you.